I'm kind of like a vampire. I don't come outside if it's more than 65% humidity because of my asthma. Um, so it's about 4.30. This is like my time of day. Um, these are hostas. They're all shade perennials, which means they come back every year. They're my absolute favorite. I put them everywhere. Uh, the deer will eat the heck out of them, though. Um, this is this is the campground we're at for the night. So this is the flowers that they have. This is an iris. It's a perennial. Comes back every year. Super hardy perennial. It will spread like crazy in your yard. either roses or knockout roses. If they're knockout roses, they're super hardy and easy to care for. The regular roses, they still do good, but they're a little more picky with bugs. These are Things pretty. I do when I go places is look at the landscape. It gives me ideas. Um, of course, that's English ivy. There's my sedum down there that I have all over the house. These are canna lilies. They multiply a lot too. It's really hard to keep the bugs off of them. There's the creeping Jenny that I have. These are my favorite hymns and chicks too. Those look really good everywhere and multiply really good. I don't know what that is. More of the sedum. Pastas. Sedum. <laughs> I love these old barrels too. I always had these growing up. I don't have any now, but they're really cute. These are actually bearded irises. They're the bigger ones of the irises. These are really pretty. I only had five bloom of mine. That's why I'm moving them all this year. These are just, they're really pretty. And they do bloom for a couple weeks if you can get them to bloom. You have to plant them real shallow. They don't like to be planted deep. I think this is Black Eyed Susan. Um, which grows really easy too. And will actually invade your whole bed if you get that. Those are Nandinas. They do really good. This is the diner at the campground. Looks like they have a little gnome village here. We used to do painted rocks and they had like a painted rock collection, but they eventually wore off. So it looks like they did something different this year. That's a cute little pot. That's the first type of lily I used to buy. And now I try to find the most rare ones I can find. I remember we used to do the railroad ties like this for landscaping. They look nice, but they're heavy. Heavy on the back. 